Hey guys, Brad M73 here. It's a little bit after 4 a.m. on uh, what is it today? Thursday, September 27th, 2018. Just a little bit ago, Giant sent me uh, this new featurette. I'm kind of doing this off the cuff. I'm not uh, scripting anything, but really quick, I just wanted to show you guys the featurette, and then we're going to come back and take a look at it. All right, so what did you guys think? Uh, hit that like button if you think this is probably one of the best featurettes you've seen to date, and uh, leave a comment letting me know what you guys think. Let's do a quick overview. And let's get started. All right, so starting off, we've got some really nice shots of the new Germany map, new field interactions. So we're kind of taking a look at spreading of lime. And again, these are all really quick shots, but the lighting looks amazing compared to what we've seen. Some weeding. Look how big these fields are. Really looking forward to getting some play on this. You can actually see the weeds disappearing. Looks like we've got a sprayer coming up. Actually, we talked about this in the developer's guide that was just released the other day. So here we're seeing the Herbicide spring, you can actually see the plants dying off as we go over. Obviously, in the real world, they don't you know, die that quickly. Real crop destruction, they don't die that quickly, but you know, for farming simulator, it's a, a pretty big deal. We just saw a shot there of the, what is that? The, uh, the changing of the wheels from the wide tires to the narrow tires. We're going to pause really quick. You're going to see my video player pop up on the screen. But just look at this nice map. Not really sure what everything is yet. You know, like this building off to the right. I don't know. It could be like a dealership or it could just be scenery. Um, we've got some nice European style buildings here. Got a couple looks at some of the different field. The small, these appear to be smaller fields. And the field geometry is actually... Pretty interesting, at least from this angle. Looks like we might have some larger fields off to the left, and also uh, the mountains off in the back um, look very fleshed out, especially compared to what we've seen so far of the American map. And uh, we've got a what appears to be a K, I think it's a case tractor pulling the lime spreader. Look at the water, it looks absolutely amazing. We've got some new style trees in the game. Again, I believe all of this is on the Germany map or the European map if you wanna be less uh, specific. But look at that water and the light, the light coming off the, the water, Look, just look at that. Look at that, guys, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful compared to what we've seen from Farming Simulator in the past have another similar shot just from a different position from the first shot we've got the train bridge off in the distance for whatever reason this map feels a lot bigger to me supposedly it's the same size map that they've done for years and years but um, just I don't know there's something that actually makes it feel a lot larger now once we actually get the game and start playing it who knows who knows how it's gonna feel but it just has a big feel from what I'm seeing so far. Uh, look at the grasses. The grasses look really nice. What, one thing I will notice, or I have noticed, is that the grasses seem a bit more wild and overgrown than they have in previous farming simulators. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, just, a, just something that I've noticed throughout the course of the different screenshots and videos that we've seen 
of Farming Simulator 19. So yep, we've got our case tractor pulling up with the Bridal Lime Spreader. No word on whether or not this will spread other fertilizers. I would imagine that it probably would. You know, you probably spread dry fertilizer with it. But the lime uh, going on the field, it's quite apparent. Pretty much what l lime looks like in the real world. I can't remember right off the top what lime is actually used for. I think it's for changing the pH balance of the soil. So, uh, you know, I think lime is an alkaline. So if you've got acidic soil, you would spread lime on it to reduce the acidity. Um, or maybe I have that backwards. It's 4.13 now in the morning and I'm, I'm super tired. Literally, I was just getting ready to go to bed when I got the, this email. Um, I wish they would give us more notice on this, but it is what it is. So yeah, looking off here, um, you can't really see the building there very well. However, I would probably guess that it's the ve like a vehicle dealership. Um, it kind of looks like the ve vehicle dealer on the Sosnovka map a little bit, but who knows? We'll have to see in November uh, when the game is released. We've got the this kind of mountain here in the center or probably towards the center of the European map with the castle on the very top. I don't think you can really see it uh, very good in this shot. Actually, you can't really see it at all. Let me see if I can back up. No, that's pretty much as, as much as we're gonna see it. But there's a, there's a castle up there, very top center, probably all kinds of little Easter eggs hidden around, you know, gold coins, gold nuggets, gold horseshoes, who knows what we're going to find in Farming Simulator 19. But again, we see, you know, a, a good diversity of field sizes. And I'm just really looking forward to uh, jumping onto this map, as well as the American map, and uh, playing some Farming Simulator 19. Look at that lighting. Now, I, I one thing that I haven't actually seen is a, a light point. Like, like, you know, if you go out into... The, the wonderful outdoors, you actually look up at the sky, you're going to see the sun as a point of light. Where in Farming Simulator, it kind of just looks like this haze where the light emanates from. As, as time goes on, I don't know if we're gonna see like a specific light point, if we're gonna actually see the sun. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we will. I'm not gonna be super upset if we don't, but from what I'm seeing of the lighting engine right now, I, I think it looks great. We also see a little bird. Actually, we see a few birds in, in this next shot here. Again, this is, this shot here is really illustrating the lighting engine as the sun is coming up. And actually, it looks like we do see a little bit. It, it might be very difficult to see. I can actually see it on my monitor. It looks like there is the sun right over there on the upper left. So really keeping uh, my fingers crossed that it's a little bit more apparent maybe at different times of day. But um, that's pretty exciting to see that right, right now because it's not something that I'd seen previously. But just look at the light as it comes up over the edge of the field. We've got long streaking shadows. Another thing that I do not notice is that circle of death that we've seen for many iterations of Farming Simulator in the past, which, which is like a render circle around the vehicle or around the camera. Actually, it would probably be in an arc from the point of view, you know, as you look out. I'm not seeing that in any of these shots. N nope, that's the lime. I was thinking, well, maybe just a little bit up through here, but nope, I believe that's just the lime. Again, here we have a nice wide view, again, on the European map on the river side, I'm assuming, of that mountain. We've got a nice big field here. We've got our little weeder uh, tractor and weeder going across the field, pulling weeds. And um, just, you can really see a nice open landscape. On the far side of the field, it looks a little bit barren. And I'm ho I would hope that they would dot the landscape with a few more trees than, than what they have there. You can see some trees up on the hillsides, but, but you know, coming down to the water, I would expect to see a lot more trees and a lot more variety. But still, absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you, if you cut out the top fifth or, or quarter of the screen and just look from the river inward it looks amazing and again i don't really see that circle of death there there is kind of an arc going over like up if you follow my mouse kind of to the left and right i can see kind of a a change in the in the field here 
where the upper part of the field looks a little bit lighter than the lower part. I'm not sure if that's um, an issue with the renderer or if that's just the way the field is supposed to look. But either way, it absolutely looks stunning. We can see the train there in the background. Looks very familiar to what we've seen in the past, just with a different engine. And we've got some nice uh, European German style buildings dotting the landscape there as well. Definitely looks awesome. Actually, I'm gonna go back, go back to right about here. And yes, I think, I think I see that infamous ring of death. And, and it's right there where I was pointing out before. You can see it a little bit better um, when the game is in motion because the, the light and dark actually moves with the camera. A little bit disappointed, but it's definitely not apparent or as apparent as what we've seen in the past, at least just by going off of this video. So removing weeds, we've got, you know, we can see the weeds down here in between all the crops. I've always kind of wondered though, what keeps the weeder from ripping up the crop? <laughs> I don't understand how they work. Uh, perhaps it has to do with, you know, the root system of the crop maybe being more advanced than the weeds. I don't really know. We've got a female worker here in the cab, possibly a hired worker, possibly a player avatar. If it is an avatar, it'll kind of give us a little bit of an idea about how customizable those characters are. But again, it could just be a hired worker. In the background, we can kind of see how some of the background is blurred out, especially outside of the tractor. Oddly, through the glass here on the inside, Looks like everything is nice and sharp and in focus. That could just be the you know the render engine going through the glass. It may not have the ability to to push uh, depth of field through another surface, but that's just me guessing without actually knowing. Kind of a water tower here off in the distance, and then way off in the distance we see the castle, and also above the castle we can see the sun. Uh, much more apparent in this shot than it had than it was in the uh, the other one that I was pointing out. And again, the lighting coming across the fields with the trees off in the distance looks absolutely amazing. In previous iterations of Farming Simulator, once certain objects got so far away, the shadows would disappear. So trees up close, especially in Farming Sim 17, trees that were closer to you, would you would actually see the shadow, but then trees further away, you wouldn't. So, and, and the fact that we can even see shadows off in the, way off in the distance, above you know this these buildings above the d and remove weed we can actually see some shadows coming up over the hill there as well so that looks absolutely amaze here we just have kind of another shot of the weed removal process again we see some weeds in front of the weeder and they're basically disappearing as they go underneath the weeder and again we've got another another shot here looks amazing we've got shadows coming down the hill i think the the addition of the more realistic lighting engine which i've been begging for since farming simulator 13 really is just going to add so much to the game it's just going to be absolutely awesome uh moving on there we've got an overhead view of the field and then a, a another view looking the other way up or possibly down the river i'm not really sure you know it looks like we've got a, a train station here we don't i don't know if we'll be if this is like an offload point, it might be, or it might not be, I don't know. But it looks really nice. We've got some cranes off in the distance. This will probably be, you know, a cell point of some sort. And again, just looking at the details on the field. Oh, it looked really cool. And then it went into the zoom there. <laughs> Here we are on, on another part of the 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 map. I'm not exactly sure where this is on the map, but we've got the, is it the Hardy? sprayer coming across the field whoops let's go back and take another look at this okay so i'm thinking we're, we're at the kind of the extreme end of the field because we've got the the uh, river down here we've got a bridge and we've got kind of like this wall of mountains that's you know going to be impassable and uh, we've got a couple small fields here definitely look to need weeding uh we can see kind of like these red and white flowering weeds and, uh, you know, kind of a European-German style structure there off in the distance. Very, very nice. We've got some lighting effects here, shadows, light glint off the top of the hardy sprayer. 
even the headlights it looks like there's the headlights out here in the front so uh looks really nice and and so yeah we pan up there's the castle top center so you know we're just kind of getting different views of this map it just looks amazing and it, and again it feels like a nice big map with a lot of variety and uh, hopefully there's going to be different parts of the map that are going to be interesting enough to want to have vehicles all over the map you know in previous iterations of farming simulator it seemed like you would kind of stay in one spot maybe not move too far across the map or maybe you know go and buy one big field halfway across the map and keep your vehicles there but you know i'm hoping that those kind of things change in this iteration of farming simulator we just don't know so here we we have the hardy spraying the herbicide and you can actually see the the plants are essentially being killed immediately obviously in the real world when you spray herbicide it takes about one to two days for the the plants to to really die but farming simulator and it's just giving you an instant uh i guess instant gratification uh so that you can see what or see that your your uh, herbicide is working and here we have uh, some spray fertilizer and more importantly though is they're adding crop destruction to farming simulator 17 as we can actually see We've got real crop destruction. No word on whether or not you can turn that off or on. But it looks really nice, uh, very similar to mods that we've seen in the past. Very, very nice. Whoops, let's go back just a little bit. Oh, we're at the field that we were at earlier. There is this building over here. I can see a little, some kind of little icon, little yellow floating icon out there in front. So I'm, I'm going to put my money on that it's probably the vehicle store. Look at that. We can also see the plants uh, being pushed over by the tires a little bit there very quickly. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Here we have a look at the vehicle store and how I, oh, the vehicle store looks so much better. You can now zoom the camera in and out. You can rotate the camera around the, around the vehicle. You can choose your wheel brand, the wheel setup, the engine setup, front attacher. This might be just where you can switch the tires out, or it might be the, the store where you actually buy your vehicle from. So, you know, I know in previous versions of Farming Simulator, you could actually set up like a little workshop on your farm and you could actually go in if you wanted to switch wheels to narrow wheels. But hopefully in this iteration of Farming Simulator, having narrow wheels is actually going to be something that you're going to want to do, especially if you're running crop destruction. And if I'm playing in hard mode, which I probably will for my Let's Play series, though, I don't know, I might do normal. We'll just have to wait and see. Having those types of, or having the ability to go into a, a farm shop or to the, to the farm dealer and swap out the tires easily is definitely something that I'm all for. And we see really quick, bam, he puts the, the narrow wheels on, which in the next shot, we are not seeing... I'm not sure if we're seeing crop destruction. There might, like this right here, maybe right up here, might be a little bit of crop destruction. It might not, though. It, there might be, you know, some type of play mechanic where when you put the narrow wheels on, you don't get any crop destruction, which will actually give you a real motivation to use narrow wheels when you need to use them and use the wide wheels, like when you're planting and and sowing and plowing and things like that planting and sowing okay <laughs> okay it's getting late here but um overall i'm really loving what i'm seeing here we've got the farming simulator logo november 20th ps4 xbox pc and mac really looking forward to this guys Again, if you like this video, if you loved my commentary at 4.30 in the morning, please do not forget to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously, and I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. If I missed something or you want to point something out, uh, make some points of your own, leave those down in the comments. I do read all the comments, and I respond to a lot of them as well. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Guys, this has been... A nice little last minute overview before I put this out of the new field interactions for Farming Simulator 19. I am Bradham73. Have a good night, morning, evening, wherever you may be, and I'll see you next time.
Bye for now.